Hey everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be showing you how to maintain and care for your new blackberry plants or established blackberry plants. So there's really three steps that you can take uh, to properly care for them. They are thinning, trellising, and pruning. Now the first step is thinning. So when it comes to thinning, this is probably the most necessary but the most difficult part. Uh, I say difficult because you're basically cutting away perfectly good blackberry growth that would other otherwise produce blackberries. Now whether you've got a brand new blackberry bed or an established bed, every year in each section that you plant, you're gonna have probably five to eight canes pop up uh, in each area. However, your trellis probably isn't gonna be big enough to support five to eight canes. And also, uh, it's a lot of work for these blackberry plants to produce and fully grow five to eight canes. So the thing we're gonna do is actually prune it down or thin it down to about three to five healthy, uh, best looking canes. So in each of these three sections, I've got about anywhere from three to five canes. And they all look a little bit different. So in this one, I've got about two canes. You know, I've got, they kind of look joined there. Uh, and then I've got one cane with some side growth coming off there. So roughly three canes. And then this one, uh, you can see we've got three canes there and then one cane there in the back. And then I've also got kind of a scraggly looking cane starting to pop up right here. Uh, this guy's just looking really weak. That is what I mean by thinning. So I'm actually gonna prune that off uh, just cause it's kind of wasted energy and growth. And then over here, we've got another three canes and you can see back there, there's another, uh, another cane starting to pop up. So this is a good example of what I mean when I say thinning the canes. So we've already got three or four really good looking healthy ones in here. And so with this one, all I'm gonna do is go about uh, two inches above the dirt line and I'm just gonna snip it right off. So right down here, go about two inches up and just snip the whole thing off, just like that. Now you can probably see in here that we've got um, what's left of the cane and it's got some side growth, side growth coming off of it. So I'm just gonna snip those off as well so those don't, so those don't keep growing. So all three of these steps are gonna be things that you need to do throughout the growing season just to stay on top of it. Blackberries grow very quickly and they grow really messy. And so if you don't stay on top of it before you know it, you're just gonna have a mess of a patch that you're not gonna to wanna to come out to. So we've done the thinning stage, now it is time for the trellising stage, which in my opinion is the most fun because you get to see your trellis start to fill out. So you can see I've already started to trellis some of these. Uh, I've been doing this for uh, probably a month now but these top ones, I just took, a, took one cane and put it all the way across this, this top row. Um, obviously, I don't want this one to grow into the space for this section, uh, so eventually I'm gonna go ahead and snip the end of this, but not yet. Uh, and then back here, you can also see that I've got another, another cane growing across the top rung. But then here, uh, these are not quite tall enough to put on the top rung. So you can see they only come about uh, five inches past that top rung. And so what I'm gonna do is actually a little trick that I've used with the shorter canes, which is I'm gonna tie a string to make sure that they don't just lay on the ground. So right here's a perfect example of that. I had a cane, obviously it's a little longer now, but a few weeks ago, uh, all it was just up to here and my cable is right here, so I couldn't wrap it around the cable. Uh, so what I did, I actually just loosely tied a piece of twine and used it to support the cane. Uh, because you can see that if that was not supported, it would just come drooping right down here on the ground. And while I was in Europe for a few weeks, I came back, one of my canes had drooped on the ground back there and it got run over by the neighbor's lawnmower. So I had to cut it all off. So when it comes to trellising, you're gonna wanna do it in layers. That way they don't crowd each other out. So for example, in this one, like I said, you've got about three to five canes per section. In this one, I've got four. And so what I'm gonna do, I've got already taken this one up and I took it left across the trellis. Uh, once these grow large enough or long enough, I'm gonna take this one, probably take it up here and take it this way across the trellis. And then these two here, I'm gonna go left and right on the lower rung as well. Um, they're not quite long enough to do that. It actually needs quite a bit of length above the trellis. Uh, that way you can get a pretty good bend radius. Otherwise you'll bend the stems. And once they get kinked, then they kinda, they kinda die off or get damaged. And then they start new growth uh, from below that kink. Okay, so I've got four really solid canes here. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and take two of the lower ones and trellis them across. Just to show you how, how I do this. So I'm gonna take this one. Make sure you make like a, a really wide really wide arc, otherwise you'll, you'll kink it. And I'm just gonna lightly, 
lightly wrap it around just like that. And it kind of just stays, especially with a thorn variety because those thorns kind of kind of grab onto the cable. So since this one's not quite tall enough to trellis around the top rung, I'm actually gonna use the same trick and just tie it with a piece of string. I'm more of just hanging it in place than actually tying it tight. So obviously it's getting a little full in here with four canes, and so I'm actually just gonna cut this one right out. It's hard to do because it's perfectly good cane, but really it's just full and messy. And also these are gonna grow a lot of side shoots off of them too, so uh, they'll be able to concentrate on that and use the side shoots to fill out the trellis. So now we're left with a more organized set of canes. So three is probably about what I want for this small of a trellis. So there we go, that's the trellising section. Our end goal is just to fill out the entire trellis. That's the point of it. So we're gonna layer it, and then we'll use the side shoots to fill out all the empty airspace. That takes us to the final stage, which is pruning. So this one's the most important because you have to stay on top of it every three or five days. Otherwise, it'll get out of hand. Uh, not so much out of hand, but it'll just waste energy growing the side shoots that you don't want. So the more you can stay on top of it, the faster your main uh, canes are gonna grow. So when I talk about pruning, uh, basically, you don't want any side shoots below this bottom rung. Otherwise, it's just gonna grow and kind of flop on the ground and really not gonna have any direction. And when they flop on the ground, they're gonna be prone to damage and disease, which is gonna hurt the whole plant. So I'm gonna take you into this third plant and I'll show you a little close up of how, what I mean by pruning the plant. So right here is a perfect example of what I mean by the side shoots. Um, so these little guys right here just grow everywhere. They grow off any part of the stem. They really don't care where they grow. And so what I'm gonna do, since I don't want a side shoot just flopping out here on the ground, I'm just gonna take it, uh, try not to cut the leaves off because there's still, there's still leaves right here um, that are right below that side shoot. But I'm just gonna take the side shoot all by itself and snip it right off. Now another thing is that sometimes you'll have leaves that are growing lower on the stems. Um, sometimes they might lay in the dirt or lay on the on the grass or whatever. Um, those are gonna be prone to disease if you let them if you let them sit on the ground, they're just gonna get damaged. Uh, so it's not a bad idea just to kind of trim off anything that's below uh, four inches on your plant. So for example, right here, this one's starting to just lay on the ground. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that off. So you can see how it gets that dirt and debris on it. Um, that's what makes it more susceptible to disease if it's just sitting on the ground. Now the final part of pruning that you're gonna wanna do just as your plants start to grow uh, is manage these side shoots. So you can see they're all up they're all over this plant, this main cane. And they even go all the way up here on the top. So obviously when we're at the top of the top of the trellis, like this guy right here, he's gonna grow straight up. And that is not very useful to us because it's just gonna look messy. Um, so we could actually just kind of pop this guy right off. We'll just pull him off. Uh, that way it doesn't even waste the energy growing that. Uh, some of them are gonna be on the bottom, like this one here is kind of growing uh, to the side, but we can just pull that one down and you know, we can kind of We can kind of weave these side shoots in and out of the trellis and fill in all that airspace So we'll do that across the whole way anything you grow is going to fruit next year So the more you fill this out the more fruit you'll have next year. So uh, Even as these start crowding each other if you just snip off the snip off the tip It's gonna grow more side shoots and it'll just fill out by itself All you have to do is train it and prune it so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, toward the fall, once we get a little closer uh, to the fall and cooling off, I'm gonna do a video on how to fertilize your blackberries, um, but we'll get to that in a different video. Uh, so with that, keep growing yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one.